And then in 1989, uh, a young black teenager named Yusuf Hawkins ended up in Bensonhurst. Him and his friends were there, I think, to, to look at a bike or a car or That's something like that. That's the one who got hit by the car. Well, uh, a mob of white, you know, Italian kids ended up getting into a fight with him, and he ends up getting killed. He runs across the highway or something and gets hit by a car. Well, there was a shooter, a guy named Joseph Fama. And does he shoot him or does he get hit by a car? He, you know something. I don't even have the details of this, right? So I'm just going to skip over this part. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm fucking all I this remember, up. I remember yeah. that no, that's there okay. was we'll just, something yeah. that the kid, there was a fight. And when you say it was a white mob, it could have probably was a white mob, but they weren't Italians. They were Italians. They were Irish. It was neighborhood kids. Okay, know. you know something? I got the story. How about, how, how about if I just say the story? Yeah, say whatever okay. you want to say. It. I'm, I'm, I don't uh, okay. remember it that well okay, myself. So, so here we go. So in 1989... Uh, a guy named Yusuf Hawkins, a 16-year-old teenager from East New York, um, went to Bensonhurst. Uh, when he was there, him and his younger brother and two friends were attacked by 10 or 30 uh, Italian youths, uh, with about seven of them having baseball bats. One of them, who had a handgun, and this is the Fama, you know, this is a, um, this is Joseph Fama had a handgun and ends up shooting him in the chest twice and killing him. Um, and I guess you had convinced his brother for him to actually turn himself in for the murder. I don't remember this too well, but you want to know something? I don't know why the hell I would do that anyway. The more I think about it, why would I tell him to go confess? Well, I give a fuck what he did. I'm not going to tell anybody to go confess and go to prison for the rest of your life. Or I would never tell anybody that. So I don't. I don't know if that's what I did. I, I don't know. It sounds confusing <laughs> yeah, to me. Your name was thrown in. They had a documentary about him recently, and it it said that you were the person that can you know was involved in convincing the shooter to actually turn himself into police because at that point. It turned to a huge thing in New York. There was protest. Uh, you know, Al Sharpton was involved, and there was a speaking out, and it created all these racial problems and so forth. Yeah, I, I, do, I do remember now when you're talking about Al Sharpton. Yeah. Yeah, he was going to come down, and he was going to protest in our neighborhood. Walk in down 20 in Bensonhurst. Yeah. Walk down 20th Avenue now, I'm starting to think. And gas pipe came to me the underboss of the Lucchese family. Mm -hmm. And he said, this Al Sharpton's going to come down. You want to kill him? I said, N -n no. What do you mean, kill him? In the middle of the street? Because he's protesting? Yeah. No, no. Get the fuck out of here. No, that's, you know, that's insane. Because if that's what you do, then there'll be four million of people protesting the next day. What are you, crazy or what? You can't do something like that. Just let him walk through. Let him protest and walk through. Mm -hmm. And do his protest and whatever. I wasn't even sure what happened with the thing. So with this, I guess it's the, now this is related to the Hawkins kid. Yeah. So the people are saying that I told this kid to go confess or go turn himself in. To, to, so I'm trying to make peace in the neighborhood. Now, fuck, I wouldn't do that. Okay. I fucked the neighborhood. I wouldn't do it. Okay. If the neighborhood explodes, it explodes. And if I did that, I must have been drunk. Okay. 